I loved listening to music, both military music as my father was in the army, and orchestral works from Mozart to Beethoven. My school had a very good music department and a very good wind band. I started playing the clarinet at the age of 13 and, and developed, I thought, quite quickly so I could join the army when I left school at 16. My desire to start conducting and to attend the bandmaster course came through the opportunity to conduct my own regimental band at military dinner events. I got the bug, you might say, and haven't looked back since. I was stationed in Berlin during 1989 and witnessed the historic event of the Berlin Wall coming down and the excitement and sense of hope at that time. Also, conducting the mass bands of the Household Division at the Royal British Legion Festival of Remembrance in 2005. Conducting at state occasions is a real thrill as you get a great sense of responsibility to the nation. It is a huge privilege to be a part of these events. The birthday tribute to Her Majesty the Queen at Windsor Castle was a unique occasion for all concerned. The responsibility of providing the music selection and being fortunate to conduct some of it on the actual parade was a huge honour and a tremendous privilege. But working on such an important event during COVID-19 was a difficult challenge. However, the professionalism and trust I had working with all my colleagues never faltered and gave the nation a moment of pride and confidence that I hope will never be forgotten. I was fortunate to have the opportunity to lead one of the new Army Brass Bands for over four years, so this influence and subsequent bias is perhaps understandable. The dynamic power and punch of a brass section delivers such a breathtaking experience, only matched by the flexibility and warmth when the brass section works in chorale mode. Simply stunning. I do miss the virtuosic and sprightliness of the high winds and that mesmerising oboe tone colour.